What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. I'm I'm souped up off caffeine off a of cold brew right now <laughs> and my body can't handle caffeine so you'll see me progressively get worse throughout this video. I apologize for that. Just you know come along for the ride. We're doing Thanksgiving makeup today. We're ready for Thanksgiving. So ready for Thanksgiving. I'm actually wearing a powder foundation, which is new for me and new for us here on this channel. So you actually get to see how to put on a powder foundation. Yeah, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. This is the book. And if you're interested in it, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're starting with the lip scrub. It's fall, it's getting cold, and your lips are probably chapped. <laughs> no shade. Let's get right into it. We're going to start off with primer. I want to be hydrated because I'm using a powder foundation. The Tarte Hydrating Base Tape. Very nice hydrating primer. I'm trying to use this up so I can like get rid of it. It's all gone. Oh, a little cold. Feels so great on the skin. Feels like very creamy. Looks moisturizer. It smells like coconut. It smells like summer vacation. I'm going in with e.l.f. for this putty primer. I'm going to take a brush for that. Oh, it's an e.l.f. putty brush. Uh, put that on my pores. Take some on my nose, smooth out my nose. Alright, we're going to color correct, conceal, and set. I'm taking my tried and true Milani Supercharged Bright Eye Tint in 120 Peach. Putting that on my under eyes on this little thing on my nose around my mustache and on my chin I'm gonna blend that out with a kabuki brush not too big stunning I love this product Looking good already. I'm going to blend it out on my eyes. Take some on the lid to correct my lid as well. Look at that. Oh, love this product. I'm going in with concealer. This is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape Concealer, 35 and neutral. It's a little mini size. This is the best color for me right now. <sighs> I'm like tired, but I have energy at the same time. Explain that to me. I'm putting some on my cheeks as well. Down my nose, center of my forehead, mustache, chin. work. I'm going to start blending it out. Now I'm going to set those places with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in the shade 2 medium. If I mess up words, uh, just know that I'm aware it's a possibility. <laughs> because this coffee got me messed up right now. I feel it. Alright, let me just set this forehead before it creases, lightly set the nose, set around my mouth, set the chin, and then set my under eyes and my lids. Alright, let's go on with the powder foundation. 
I'm using the KVD Locket Powder Foundation in medium 155. Get this on. That's what it looks like. I got this from BoxyCharm. This is new to me. I just stamped this in using the applicator. It has pretty good coverage because I covered a lot of the redness on my nose. So I'm putting this foundation uh, in the places I didn't put concealer or set. I'm trying to blend it into where I did use concealer and did set the face. That's bronze. I haven't used this bronzer in a hot minute. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the shade Endless Summer. Let's bronze with this. Stamping this in and then blending it out. Oh, you know what's crazy? I've been trying to blush before I bronze, but I completely forgot to do that. I'm actually going to take some of this bronzer on the side of my brush. Take that from the outer corner, brow bone, to the temple. Alright, let's do some blush. This is the Trixie Cosmetics Just a Girl Blush Palette. So cute, so pretty. I'm going in with a mix of Colts Classic and Total Betty. I'm going to focus that uh, on the temple and the outer parts of my cheek. Can you see all the powder particles going around? Oh, highlight. Can't get this anymore, but any natural looking highlight will do, like the Essence Pure Nude, Sunlight, all that. It's a Kiko Milano Magical Holiday Radiant Blush and Zero One Morning Star Biscuit. Looks like this, like a highlight brush. And actually, before that, let's do some matte highlight. This is the KVD Shade and Light Contour Duo Lyric and Shadow Clay. I'm taking the light color and brightening the under eye. Going to brighten the chin and the upper lip, brighten a bit. Middle of my eyebrows, the center of my forehead. I'm going to brighten the center of my nose. And with an angle brush, like such, slightly tapping into the contour powder and stamping on the contour. All right, now I'll take my fluffy powder brush and make sure everything's all blended in. And I could actually use this lightning powder to carve out under my cheeks. Look how fast that works. Now I'll use my highlight. Soft highlight. This is, this is supposed to be a blush, but it's very light and very glowy. So I moved it to my highlight drawer to be a natural highlight situation. Now I'll set my face, melt everything into my skin, even though it looks pretty good. This is the fun to what it do. And I'm going to use the back of my sponge to tap everything in. Hello, we're back. I have one eye done. She's cute. She's everything. Love her. Okay. So let's get into it. Let's get into it. First, I'm using this 
Moda Pro BMX430 crease brush, fluffy crease brush, and I'm actually going into my bronzer. Oh, so that's a strong smell. And I'm taking that, like, basically on the brow bone, brow, brow bone, oh, yeah, yeah, towards the start of my eyebrow. What the heck? And out to where my temple is. Then I took another fluffy brush. This is just a beam. <laughs> that caffeine girl, she's hitting. Um, BH Cosmetics Rose Gold Number no. Five. Looks like that, and we're using the Vive Muse Essentials Palette. Yes, come on, Jimmy Genevieve. And I'm using this shade. Hey, that's my calendar. The shade Buff this is a pretty quick look, actually. <sighs> or I thought it was quick, and it really wasn't. But we're using this lower into the crease not quite as far to the inner corner and just softly blending it the shadows don't take much to blend so this look doesn't take too long I also tap off any excess. And then I'm taking that also towards the temple. Not too much, just blending it outward. Really diffusing it. Then, this is going fast. We're going fast. It's Thanksgiving. You're cooking or you're helping to cook or you're cleaning or you're setting up. Like, we need to be, we need to be quick, okay? This is the Luxie 205 Taper Blending Brush long thinner blending brush and I'm going in with this shade delicious delicious brown shade she has some kick up in this palette but I love her this is mostly in the outer corner lower into that crease and still extending that a bit not too, too much. I'm using my brush very lightly to do this look so it comes out very soft and diffused. And you don't need much of these colors. I like this palette because it's pigmented, but it's not too pigmented where it won't blend. I'm going back with that motor brush and the bronzer on my lower lash line. So I forgot that I did the lower lash line. Taking that all across. Just a little bit low for it to look very smoky. Going back with the BH brush and the second shade, Buff. Well, the first V shade. I'm doing about the same thing as I did with the bronzer. And you could do this with um, any bronzer you're using so it looks cohesive, you know. And again with the Lexi brush, it's a delicious. Keeping that tighter to the lash line, not so low. Cute, I love her so much. Now I'm going in with Auric, y'all. Miss Auric from Samantha Ravendahl. This is the Smoke Reflect and Defiance. I'm using the cream. And this is an Equal Tools Blurring Shadow brush. Looks like that. And I'm just dipping into here. And I'm taking that on my lid. Oh, so pretty. You can even just leave it at this shadow. But I put more on top. It's so... It's so pretty. Like, it's not a shimmer, but it's a sheen. 
Socks, sheen. Oh my god, she's so pretty. Mmm. A good dirty, rusty bronze. Old, dirty bronze. <laughs> Which is weird to describe it, but that's what it is. Taking this Glamier brush, it's just like an even smaller, shorter fluffy brush into lava rock. I don't like using black to be very honest with you. I'm not using too much of this shade. Just in the outer corner. So build up some depth in the outer corner. Really not too much. Like, truly not too much. Then I'll use that same color on the lower lash line even tighter and not as far in. Then I'm going in with Thea, or Thea, Thea, which is a bronze shimmer glitter. And tapping that from the lash line upward. And I'm just going in with that lightly. Period queen, just like that. And the fluffiest brush, So Shy, which is a matte cream color. Just a bit. And I put that on the brow bone. I'm actually going to take that color and stamp that at the inner corner here. Just make sure that color isn't too intense at that inner corner. Then I took a detail brush. You could use any small brush you prefer. Going in with Glimmer, which is like a true metallic shimmer shade. Champagne. Popping that on the inner corner. on the brow bone but let's put on a lip while we're here this is color pop bff number two look at her she's loved i'm gonna line my lips with this i might deepen it up if i want to this lip line got wonky so fast I don't know why I think I could drink coffee. Like, that's just really not in the cards for me, you know? <laughs> it doesn't stop me. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick 930 Truffle Tees. Come on, Maybelline. I feel like I'm crashing. I'm not putting on a gloss because, you know, it's Thanksgiving. And why would you put on a gloss when you know you're just going to eat all day? Not me. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I should really put on a matte liquid like lipstick, but I wanted to put this one on. But I would highly recommend a matte liquid like lip. Okay. Is that it? That's it. I put on... Is what I put on? Yeah, House of Lashes Noir. Very light lashes. Don't look too close at them. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the end of this video. I am tweaking, y'all. Tweaking. Taking off the caffeine, to be honest with you. But, yeah. This Thanksgiving, we're going for natural-looking skin. Nothing too glowy-dewy. Quick eye looks. And honestly, no lashes because, you know, I don't have time for, for lashes. On Thanksgiving, I'm in the kitchen and they'll probably just steam off. You know, the glue will just steam off of my eyes and they won't stick. But for the sake of the look today, if you're not cooking, you're just cleaning up around and all that, then 
These will be good for you. And there's that. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> I'm like so high energy right now, but also low energy. Like I'm scared about my well-being. But anyways, I actually want to do a video making Puerto Rican coquito because that's like one of my favorite things about the holidays. You know, you, you see the memes of the coquito, the arroz con gandules, the um, pasteles, and what else is, oh, the flan. I make flan coquito and I'm, I help with the pasteles. You know, I know how to fold wrap. That's what I do for Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I'm planning on doing a coquito recipe video after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Because I'm going to be busy, honey. Busy. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your makeup vibes for Thanksgiving and what you plan on doing. We're pretty sure, well, I am sure my family's coming to my place. So my mom's going to be on a thousand this weekend. <laughs> Cleaning and shopping, all that. It's... It's gonna get crazy and I kind of want to put up my Christmas tree but I know my mother will be upset by that because <laughs> it takes up a lot of space it's a lot of work but yeah let me know you guys' Thanksgiving plans I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button down below comment subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification if you're feeling froggy I'm posting all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter. I link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one.